All right, welcome to Fitness Friday. Good morning. I'm going to be balancing between Instagram and Facebook so that I can see everyone. I'm sporting my coach tank that I won last year for signing on my first three ever customers, and it was pretty exciting. When I got it, it was the biggest size they had available, and it was skin tight. And look at it now. I just, I can't, I can't even believe the difference in my physical body since, oh, hi, Lonnie, since last year. Like, it's just, I can't even. If you scroll back through my Instagram feed, you will see how friggin' weird and different it is. So when I got this, it was skin tight. I could barely even get it over my head, and this was, like, up here. And I figured since Fitness Friday, today's topic is about why I ended up coaching um, specifically with Team Beachbody, but like just mentorship and coaching in general. Um, I figured I'd wear my coach top because why not? I earned it. So for me, the biggest reason I signed up as coach is I'm thrifty as heck. Lately, um, Instagram has been bleeping out swears, so I'm going to try not to use them. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I've got my recover because I lifted weights today and I can already feel it in my back and this will help me be able to move later. And it tastes like a chocolate frosty. Winning. So why coaching? I'm thrifty as heck and I needed something that I could do at home because of the pandemic. I needed something that was actually fun, that wasn't going to take hours that I didn't need a lot of startup costs and equipment because I didn't have any. And um, I really, 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 really liked the 30 day money back guarantee because it gave me the safety net I needed where if I invested the startup costs and I did the thing and I either didn't show up, which whatever, that's just a failing mindset. We can talk about that in a different call where I either didn't show up or I wasn't physically able to do the program or whatever. I could say, no, this isn't for me and get all my money back. And I really, really liked that. I had tried a lot of fad diets before. I had bought a gym membership for $300 and not used it. And then the pandemic hit. I think we went to the gym like four times maybe, but every time I went to the gym, because I was 300 pounds and short and had big boobs, I didn't fit in most of the equipment. And there is nothing more discouraging than hopping on a treadmill. Did you know that the treadmills at the gym are built for people who are like 200 pounds or less? So when you go to the gym and you're on it and you're over 200 pounds, it's going to squeak. It's going to squeal. People are going to like, people might not look at you, but you're going to feel like people are looking at you and staring at you. And I hated how like, Everyone had an opinion about my body when I was at the gym. If I worked out for 20 minutes instead of 30 minutes, I've actually had trainers at gyms who I didn't hire say, you know, you really need 30 minutes of activity in order to get the benefit out of it. First of all, don't comment on fat people's bodies. Second of all, that is a lie from the bad place. <laughs> That's not true. It's not accurate because Tabata is a form of training and you can get the same impact of a 30 minute cardio workout in eight minutes. I've proven it. That's how I got this hat. So yeah, why coaching? I didn't want to coach. I just wanted the discount. I got a 25% off discount. I got early access to new and launching programs. Um, I knew I was going to be in it for the long haul because when I started, I was 304 pounds. And after the first two weeks, I saw a difference in my mood. I saw a difference in my ambition. Um, I saw a difference in my choices overall and how I looked at myself. Um, my start into this journey, the catalyst was mental health and self-esteem and not a specific goal for my weight because I've always been plus size and I've always been big and I still technically am even though I'm 121 pounds lighter than I was last June. To say that is fucking weird. There, I already swore. Okay, so I'm 121 pounds lighter than I was on June 24th, which is weird. That's a whole human being. I still eat chocolate. I still eat popcorn. 
um, for the first three months, I was still having beer or wine or whatever. Uh, I still eat bread. Um, I don't eat dairy because for me, it's not good for my body, but Olivia eats it all the time. She still eats cheese. We don't cut out any food groups. And here's the key, food groups. All of the food that we eat is real food. It isn't over processed. It wasn't made in a lab unless, you know, you're talking about Shakeology, but that's just dehydrated ground up superfoods. So how did I become like an actual coach then? Well, people were watching me post on this account, which I created just to cat like catalog my healing journey, which I think it's still doing. It's turned into kind of my business, but that's all part of the process. I've always wanted to do what I'm doing now, um, helping people. That has always been something I wanted to do. I always wanted to help people, to bring them joy, to empower them into chasing after their dreams, to discover their inner voice, their truth, their purpose, whatever that means for them. And um, I need to learn things in my body first before I can do it for my spirituality. So my beach body journey has been learning how much I can do hard things and how I can show up and how I have so much more strength, endurance, um, presence, joy, and all of those things, confidence in me than I ever, ever knew, like at all. Like I'm way stronger than I ever gave myself credit for. And learning that on like the low stakes side of fitness where it could be the program's fault <laughs> if I failed was very helpful for me. Having the opportunity to push through something that didn't have high emotional stakes for me compared to like my trauma and stuff was huge. So I've already done the work in my physical body. It's like whenever something comes up in my personal life and my emotional life, in my memories, whatever, I can be like, I lost 120 pounds. I can do anything. You know what I mean? Like, so that's, that's what I'm, that's, that's why this has been helpful for me. But about three weeks in, people noticed a change in my mood. They noticed a change in my body. They noticed a change in the way that I carried myself. And I posted my first side by side right about then. Um, people I went to university with were like, what are you doing? I, I want to do whatever it is that you're doing. And so at first I was like, ew, no, I can't be a coach. What do I know? And I got rid of the title coach in my head. I was like, I'm just bringing people with me. It's just an adventure that we're doing together. And that is the way that I've applied my team beach body coaching experience. Everyone who's in my group, I'm not their mom. I don't make them get up. I don't make them do their goals. I don't ream them out when they quit. I don't do any of that. I ask them questions. I encourage them. I ask them what they need. Um, I post what I'm doing all the time. So I'll be like, here's what I'm having for breakfast. Show me yours. And if nobody shows me theirs, I'll just be like, well, that's lame. I wanted more food ideas, you know? Um, I team people up in accountability chains and it's up to them to hold each other accountable. It's not my job because that's not my style of coaching. Some people that is, but that doesn't work for me. It's never worked for me to have people kind of like almost guilt or shame me into keeping me accountable to what I said I was going to do. That doesn't work for me. So I don't apply that in my coaching. So I already help people and I already wanted people to come along with me. And my friends were already looking for something to kind of do in this last year where we're all stuck at home and all the gyms are closed and we can't go to fitness classes and we can't hang out with our friends. So we're all collectively doing similar programs and then sharing about it. There's 52 people in my fitness group and about 14 of them either have like just the basic on-demand membership or they're doing like the full meal deal like I am. And I don't believe in DMing people and I don't believe in selling people and I don't believe in signing people up for things they don't need or they're not going to use. I only ever share things that I've used that have worked for me. When a program comes out and I'm really excited about it, sometimes I will spam Facebook or Instagram a lot because I'm excited and I want my friends to do it with me. It has zero to do about the money in the bank. But I will say that I made more money last year 
just showing up and inviting people along doing this than I did working for minimum wage the year before during Christmas season. So, and I felt good about it. I wasn't selling people crap they didn't need. And if they didn't want it or it didn't work for them, it wasn't about me. They got their money back, you know, so there's that. But coaching has given me this extra level of accountability. It's given me confidence. It's helped me believe myself. It's helped me recognize what I'm good at and what I'm not. It's helped me... Um, cultivate a presence online, which was the catalyst to me launching my business of one-on-one -on -one intuitive guidance, because I was able to practice my skills of leadership, my skills of communication, my like being funny as hell on social media, but also really serious of meeting people and interacting with people and encouraging people and finding out what they need and what speaks to them and whether or not I'm the person to give that to them. So about half of the people that I'm coaching with this hat have come from Instagram. They signed up with an infomercial or signed up with someone who was a Beachbody coach who lost interest or lost their passion or forgot why they were doing it or got into it as a get rich quick scheme instead of, which it's not advertised anywhere as that, by the way, or instead of um, helping people and helping themselves, which is why I do it. I do not believe that this is the only path towards success and fitness. I just feel like it works the best for me because on average, I work out 18 to 35 minutes, five days a week. And I am consistently meeting my strength goals, my mental health goals, my nutrition goals. I feel good in my body. I'm starting to get like the little ab lines now, which I thought I would never ever get ever in the history of ever never ever nope mm. my joke used to be like I don't have abs I have a keg right and I love every inch of my body someone posted in their group maybe it was my group yeah Bailey posted in my group in this group the one on Facebook about um, parts of our body that maybe we're uncomfortable of, that we don't like or whatever. And um, I was like, I like every bit now because this process in the last 10 months has helped me to realize how strong my body is, what it's gotten me through, how it's gotten me to this point. Part of that is the affirmations that are in the workouts, but most of that is the community. My upland coach has almost 200 people in her group. And they are always supporting and encouraging one another. They're always posting recipe ideas. They're sending each other like literal gifts in the mail. And last week, two of my challengers is what we call our customers. But they're people who are my friends now, who are going to be my friends regardless of whether or not they do this forever. They sent me gifts and we're like, the, you're you're you've helped me with this you're such a good coach you're so encouraging you bring so much joy like you're so supportive and I'm over here being like oh my gosh being me just being me helps people just be them and be totally rocking it and super comfortable in it and those relationships is why coaching it's not about the money the money is a side effect to me I could Literally, it would be easier to be an effective coach if I didn't have to think about money. Do you know what I mean? Like, does this make sense? So if money didn't make the world go round, I would still be doing this. If this service were free, I would still be doing it because I believe in it. If we didn't get paid to help people sign up, like if we didn't get a commission for signing people up, I would still be doing it. It's just like when you tell people about Netflix or when you tell people about the shampoo that you use or the soap that you found or your, the makers on Instagram who have like amazing stuff. It's like in the, in the witch and tarot community when you find a really quality person that maybe doesn't have a lot of followers because they're new or they're quiet and you share them with everybody 
and then like the community expands and grows and comes more together. It's like that. It's like when I post about my she fit bra, I get nothing. Like I don't get money for my she fit bra posts, but I believe in the product so much that I share it with you. And I, there are products by this company that I don't like, and you won't ever see me posting about them. Right? Cause it's not, that's not my thing. I don't believe in shamey, gross diet culture. I think that's disgusting. I think that every body is a beach body and deserves to be confident and fit and whatever, which is why I really, really like the program I'm doing now. The Let's Get Up program has big bodies in it, skinny bodies in it, young bodies in it, black bodies in it, gay bodies in it, straight bodies in it. It even has a 60 year old lady who is a freaking joy to watch because the whole time she's doing it, she's just like smiling in the background. And I'm, I'm doing the exact same moves as her. Like today there was this move where we had to hold weights in our hand and lift the weights over our head and then bring them down almost like a karate chop and lift a leg off the floor. And she's just like, la, 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 la. And I'm like, oh, this is so hard. And um, she's just all like, this is so easy. Look at my smile. And like, I literally was like, fuck you, Shanti. <laughs> but I adored it. It was so much fun. And so I posted um, one of the shareable moments. And there's one for every dance workout every single week where you can like do it and then post it to social media. And then Shanti like picks them and like shares them on his social media. Um, he shares them on TikTok as side by sides and he shares them on Instagram as side by sides. And it's just like the whole community. And he's just like, look at this person rocking it out. Look at this person loving themselves. And it's just, it's so fun. My fear of being wrong, of being seen, of taking up space is gone because of this opportunity. Um, I've learned that so many things aren't about me because of this opportunity. I have been able to pay off debt. I've been able to feel like I'm contributing to my household during a time when I can't really leave because I have no immune system. I've been connected to so many beautiful people because if I hadn't, okay, here's the thing. If I hadn't joined Beachbody, I wouldn't have started this account and I wouldn't have met the people that I've met and I wouldn't have healed my trauma. I wouldn't have deep dived and gotten rid of all of the religious crap that had caused me to make myself small and make myself quiet. I wouldn't have done my branding session. I might not even, let's be real for a second, I might not be alive right now because it was my last stitch effort at mental health. And now, almost a year later, I'm transitioning off of my medication as per my physician's recommendation. I'm a whole human lighter. I've created a dream life for myself that I'm actively pursuing. The, the coaching opportunity is about 5% of my life as far as like getting customers, signing them up, whatever. But I show up every day. The nutrition, I do it every day because I need to, because my body needs the good food to feel good. It's all about how I feel. Sometimes I feel like eating popcorn and I sit for a minute and I'm like, is this an emotional I want popcorn or do I just like actually want popcorn? Because popcorn is delicious and it makes me happy. And I'll sit there for a second and sometimes I'll say, no, I don't want a popcorn. And then other times I'll be like, yeah, and I'm gonna make Make it on the stove and coconut oil, and then I'm gonna drizzle honey on it. It's gonna be freaking delicious and taste like kettle corn. But I'm only gonna eat one portion of it, which is three cups, by the way, which is actually a lot of fiber for your belly when you're not used to binge eating anymore. So, like, all of these things are things that I learned by getting master certified in ultimate portion fix because I wanted to know. And, but now I have that tool where I can help other people. I've done the work so I can be like, hey, do you think before you eat or do you eat and then feel bad? Because food has no shame. It's literally fuel for our bodies to help us to do things. It's, it's, it's like putting gas in your car. But if you put the wrong gas in your car, your car's gonna break. 
right? It's the same with our bodies. So learning all of that has been really helpful. So I'm not a coach because I want to make money. I'm a coach because I want to help people. And it doesn't matter whether it's Team Beachbody or my other business. They're both the same drive. I want to see people find whatever lights them up and makes them feel amazing in their bodies and in their life and toss off the stuff that doesn't and just friggin' go for it because we only get one life to live. Well, at a time, depending on your beliefs, but you're the only one who can live it. So what do you want? Who do you need in your back pocket to help you? Maybe it's me. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's not. Both of those answers are good. But like, let's figure it out. This is my passion. This is what I love. Whether it's through my fitness and nutrition program which costs the same as Netflix per year, by the way, which is about two thirds of what I was spending on coffee per semester. Oh no, no, let's be honest, per month while in university. <laughs> Cause if it's like $12 a month for fitness and it was like more than $12 a month for coffee, I spent more money on Starbucks than it costs to do Beachbody for the year in a month. <laughs> Chinese food once, one and a half times in our home paid for the whole annual subscription. So that's, that's where I found the money. It's like, it's, it's like, it's just my priorities. They just shifted. I was like, what do I need to sacrifice in order to invest in what I need? And so you can apply that to any, any area of your life, whether it's fitness, nutrition, spirituality, self-care, mental health, whatever. What do I need to clean out of my dirty, nasty life fridge in order to put good stuff in? And that's what I did. And so that's why I do coaching. And why I'm never going to stop is it's just, it's, I feel like I get more out of it than other pe than the people I'm helping. And I, maybe that's totally not true, but I feel like I do because this is what I was built to do. I was built to encourage people. I was built to help people. I was built to inspire people. That is my mission in this lifetime is to just help people feel like the amazing, beautiful, precious, perfect, gorgeous souls that they are. And this is a small piece of it. So every Friday is fitness Friday and every Friday I lose followers. And then Monday or, or Saturday to Thursday, I gain a whole bunch because they're all like, yeah, tarot, magic, ooh, cats, whatever. And then as soon as I start talking about my fitness and my fitness programs and my nutrition, people are like, ew. Ah. And I'm like, thanks for giving me a shot. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. I'm a whole being. I have many interests, as I'm sure all of you do. I am not hiding anything. I have never hidden anything. You can scroll back through my whole, my whole Instagram feed. And when I started this account, it was just fitness. And now I've branched out because of the confidence that this has given me. So that's why coaching. If you have any questions, if you would like to give any of this stuff a try, if you would like to try um, by being a discount coach, so that, like I did, where there's no pressure to sell to anyone. There's no sales quota. You don't have to have any upfront in inventory. It makes it more accessible to start a daunting goal. And there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you, if you try it and you're like, I'm not ready. No, this isn't for me. I can't afford it or whatever. No hard feelings. And you can get your money back. Like, it is pretty low risk compared to other things. So like when you try a gym membership, I have yet to meet a place that gives you your money back or lets you out of your contract without a cancellation fee or whatever. You know what I mean? This isn't, this isn't that. It comes with an app that you can have on your phone or your Amazon Fire TV or your Apple TV or whatever. You can download stuff. You can take it with you. It has meditation, yoga, nutrition, um support it's got dancing bar blend high intensity training lifting it's got a bit of everything it's got 
so much stuff. There's over a thousand workouts. I stopped counting. They keep adding them. There's a running program. There is so many things. And you get swag when you complete them. You can be entered to win $100,000 every year, which I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Beach Body Challenge. I'm going to win one of these days. Anyway, so if you would like to know more about the coaching opportunity, just send me a message. If you want to try this dance workout, it's super fun. Send me a message. Yeah, basically, that's it. That's all I got. So if you have any questions, let me know. I got to drink this because you're supposed to drink it within half an hour of your workout and it's already been 18 minutes. So I'm going to drink this and then I'm going to go live in my um, other Facebook group to wrap up sustainability week. Okay.